Hey guys, welcome to your love reading for Libra. This is going to be for your June 2024. You can apply this to um, to uh, your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. We are going to take a look at and see what is going on with you guys in love and the person that you are connecting with. And then we will take a look at your person to see what their true feelings and intentions are towards you. And then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on. Apply this to your own unique situations. Switch the roles if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um, Libra people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. Uh, if you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Support me on there too. So tell me about, uh, tell me about, uh, Libra. The person that Libra is dealing with in love. What's going on with Libra in love and the person that they are connecting with for June 2024? Second half of your June 24, from the 16th to 30th, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Libra. We have the Nine of Pentacles here and the Page of Cups. I feel, I feel like you have a secret admirer. Someone here is really interested in you. There could be someone here that you're just meeting in life here. This person's just entering your life, coming into your life here. Well, I read this is, I feel like this person's fantasizing about you, okay? This is an individual here that, you know, is wanting to make something happen here with you. Whoever this is, I feel like this is an individual that's kind of like very sweet. You know, I feel like this person could be very emotionally kind of like manipulative too, because I feel like this person has a tendency to get what they want here. Okay, so we have the Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Uh, actually, the Seven of Cups here and the Magician, Gemini, Virgo. Um, we have the Ten of Swords and the Knight of Wands. Just be careful with this individual. This person has a bit of a dark side here, or that this person has a player has player tendencies here, or that they could be non-committal here. Okay. However, this is I do feel like this person really enjoys their freedom here. Um, just be careful. This person's interested in you, but this person's playing a lot of emotional and mental mind like mental games here. Okay, so we have the uh, uh five of swords with the queen of swords, ten of wands. Six of Cups. Ugh, seems like this is past energy here where some here is trying to come back around and try and reconcile here with you. Yeah, whoever this is, this person has options here. This person's only coming to get back in for sexy time. Okay, so we have the Queen of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, the Ten of Swords, Six of Cups, Two of Wands, and the Ace of Wands here. Now, you could be moving on with your life here, but this person's still thinking about you. Uh, this person still wants to be with you. Okay, uh, you know, some of you guys could, you know, perhaps not be thinking about this person. Some of you guys might be thinking about this person peripherally here. But, you know, I do feel like someone here is definitely coming back around to reconcile here with you. I wouldn't say that they're going to completely reconcile with you, but I feel like this person is coming back in for sexy time here. You know, I feel like this person has a hard time letting you go. I mean, some of you guys could be having a hard time letting this person go yourself too. Uh, tell me about the person that Libra is dealing with. What is this person's true feelings and intentions towards Libra? What is this person's true feelings and intentions towards Libra for the second half of your June from the 16th to 30th? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Libra, for Libra. We have the Chariot and the Hangman, Piscean Energy. Chariot and the Hangman, Chariot Cancer Energy. Hangman, Piscean Energy. We have the Page of Wands here, Aries, Leo, Sag, and the Tower here. This person is kind of like facing reality that you don't want to be with them here. Seems like they can't let you go or that they, it seems like they can't move forward without you here. And I feel like, like I said, I, th I feel like this person can be very emotionally manipulative here. They will play with your feelings here, pull on your heartstrings and try and win you back. But also at the same time, they will revert back to their behavior here because I do feel like this person is non-committal here. 
you know? It's kind of like Libra, let's do it now. Let's, like, let's make things happen here, you know? And I feel like this person will sort of, like, go back on their word here. We have the Nine of Swords. We have the Seven of Swords. We have the Moon. We have the Two of Cups. We have the Emperor and the Justice card. Some of you guys could be dealing with a karmic here. <sighs> this person has secrets. This person's lying to you. This person might be in other full-blown relationships that you might not even know about here. This person plays around a lot. This person might come, come off as someone who ha has their life together. You know, someone here who is well-established in life, but then this person behaves like a little child here. Behaves like a little teenager, a frat boy, frat girl here. Not frat girl, sorority girl. I don't know. I don't know if sorority girls kind of like equates to a frat boy here, but it's sort of like this person hasn't really truly grown up. You know, this person could be 50 years old and this person behaves like a 20 year old. Okay. Um, you know, it seems like this person could be having ongoing multiple relationships with other people, including you. That's if you kind of circle back or circle back around to this person. But I don't see some of you guys doing that here. Um, you know, I feel like you guys want to heal. I feel like you guys want to move towards new love. I feel like you guys are trying to manifest that life that you want here without this person being in the picture here. What else do we have here for Libra? What else does Libra need to know? Look out for a work on when it comes to this love situation for June 2024. Second half of June 2024 from the 16th to 30th. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Libra. So we have the King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Four Cups. This person's thinking about you a lot. Nine of Cups here. They're seeing you as your wish fulfillment. Queen of Pentacles. Kings of Queen of Pentacles. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Judgment. Sagittarius energy. They're definitely looking for a second chance here. They're looking for a second chance here. They're holding on to you. They can't let you go. But also they can't give you what you want either. King of Pentacles here. We have the Seven of Pentacles. They they are starting. To, they they feel like they're starting to waste their time here and trying to win you back because I feel like you're not really giving them any sort of attention here. Okay, so I do feel like you are ghosting this person or that you're not talking to this person here. Okay, I do feel like whoever this is, I feel like this person's definitely coming to a real strong realization that you know you guys are connected here or that you know this person's realizing that you are the one for them. Um, or that this person is realizing that they're, they're loyalty here to you. But I also feel like it's too late with the Queen of Pentacles here and the lovers. Yeah, this person's like in love with you. Or that this person is finally choosing you here. They're finally choosing you. But, you know, I do feel like this person is, like I said, is feeling like they're starting to waste their time trying to win you back. They're spying on you. They're watching you here. They're looking for, you know, uh, they're looking for a way to come back to you. They're looking for a way to make their way back to you here. But I feel like, it, like I said, eventually they're going to give up here. Yeah, because I feel like this person doesn't feel like they're succeeding, you know? They don't feel like they're succeeding. And I feel like this person feels like they're letting themselves down here. Or that they feel like they let themselves down. Or that this person's disappointed in themselves here. Disappointed in the behavior that they showed you here, Okay. Yeah, I, I do feel like whoever this is, I feel like this person's about to give up. Yeah. So, um, Libra, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.